This recipe for coleslaw is really easy to make. All you need is some mayonnaise, new salad cream if you prefer, a carrot that's been washed, an apple, and I'm using a quarter of a white cabbage. It also works with a red cabbage. The only equipment you need is a grater, a knife, a spoon, and a mixing bowl. So it's really nice, it's much nicer than a bought coleslaw. We're going to start by shredding the white cabbage. So as it's in a quarter, it's nice and stable, it's not going to move around too much. And I'm using a chef's knife because it's quite big. And all I'm going to do is cut really thin slices. And as you can see, it just falls into little pieces by itself. Now you can do this in a food processor. And then you can put a slicing blade on for this and a grating blade on for the carrot and the apple. But to be honest, it's so quick, you might as well just do it by hand. And there's a lot less washing up. So that will just break up, put it into your mixing bowl. If you get any pieces that don't break, you can just make a little pile and then slice them up a little bit more. So as you can see, that already gives you a nice large bowl full. Um, if you buy the whole cabbage, you can buy halves, but usually you buy a whole one. Quarter it and wrap up the other quarters. They keep for quite a while in the fridge. Next ingredient is a carrot. This is quite a big one, I might not need it all. And I'm using the large side of a grater and I'm just going to grate down. And all those nice shredded pieces will go in with the cabbage. So I've used most of the carrot, not quite all of it. It's surprising how big a pile you get when you grate it. And that's all going to go in my bowl. So the next thing I'm going to do is to grate the apple. I'm not going to peel it. And I'm going to work on one side at a time. So holding the grater steadily. And just keep grating. Until you can see the core. And then move to another side. This adds a nice sweetness as well as a juicy texture. You can put onion into your coleslaw. I think it's a little bit harsh to have strong raw onion in there. Chopped up string onions is quite nice. But I like it just for these three ingredients. So just keep going and you get again, quite a pile. That was a really small apple but you've still got quite a pile once you've grated it. So that's going to go in. And all I'm going to do then is to stir them together. And once you've combined them, I'm going to start adding the sauce, the mayo, the salad cream, whatever you want to use. You can also do a really healthy one with natural yogurt or creme fraiche. Just going to squeeze the mayonnaise on top. It's up to you how much you use. Start off with a couple of tablespoons and then mix it through. You might need to swap to a knife uh, fork at this point to make it a bit easier to stir through. Depends on how big your bowl is. And when you're happy with the amount of mayonnaise, just put it in the fridge and you're done. It's much nicer to make this fresh each time you want to use it rather than use the whole cabbage. Make a massive bowl full which then gets a bit watery if you don't eat it all in one day or by the next day at least. So that's how you make a really nice coleslaw, nice and fresh each time you want it. 